Hello everyone. Today's film is going to be slightly different to the kinds that I usually bring you here on www.youtube.com. I don't really have a beard, but I'm always slightly superstitious that one might appear. It's so very important to always smile and be friendly so that nobody knows that you are the devil. It's such a versatile color, this sketch. I absolutely adore it. It's marvelous. But today I sadly discovered I had depleted my supply of mild wine, which is awfully tragic. So I'm guessing brandy shall have to do instead. It's such a subordinate drink. Goodness, how I relate with Father Jack. I'm very much a man of conviction and principle. I'm indefatigable in my approach. I don't necessarily negotiate well. So I think I would make an absolutely marvelous dictator, as I do tend to just slap it on and hope for the best. There's always this presumption when you wear makeup that you're trying to either trick a man or fool a man. I've always found this very odd because I am a man. I am the man. I don't see what I'd possibly need to trick or fool another man for. It's very odd. Does your milkshake bring all the boys to the yard? No. Although, in saying that, my caviar has been reputed for alluring all the lords to the court. My actual hairline, when my hair is scraped back and pulled back, it almost moves position. It goes from being sort of straight to almost being shaped like a V. And I do tend to find that this makes me look a little bit like a hammerhead shark. They always look very dubious. They're sort of puzzled and shocked by existence itself. I have an immense coffee addiction and I have had it for a long time. I am, of course, trying to find a Coffeeaholics Anonymous. I don't know where I will find one. Just to be able to go to a room full of people that also struggle with coffee addiction and never fails to invigorate one. But yes, I need help. As I need to be cheered up a little bit. It's summer currently in London and it has been very, very sunny and very, very hot, of course, which is very depressing. Sunlight is very depressing. I never really like to look too stiff either. I think when one's outfit looks quite stiff, one is in danger of appearing slightly like an erection. I think I stopped wearing this dress because my own skin, of course, is very, very fair. And this dress, of course, is jet black. And even though it is draped at the shoulder and bodycon, it can actually look quite boxy. So when wearing it, I do tend to find that I resemble an oversized piece of sushi, but I absolutely adore it regardless. Another question has asked, what century were you born in? I think it is very important for you all to know that I was not actually born. I was summoned here to perform a task and a purpose. And I, of course, was summoned on the 31st of May, 21,982 BC, which makes me 24,000 at the end of this month. So it's super exciting. I have a new tooth growing in, which is so very strange. You'd think after 24,000 years of immortal life that all of my teeth would have grown in by now. It seems not. So the first thing I'm going to do is color correct my under eye dark circles. Sending them back to the abyss, I am taking some of Cryolan's Dermacolor Cream Concealer in the shade D1W. You see, I meant to be going out tonight, but I've never used Uber before. I mean, I've been trying calling, but nobody answers. There's nobody here. Why aren't they appearing? Men taking me home from the club. I object to this highly because, first of all, I am John McLean. The only man that takes me home is the chauffeur, and the only clubs I shall be going to shall be private members, secret societies, or ones I own. I'm not going to be cavorting around in any small dungeon when color correcting the blueness underneath one's eyes. And I'm applying it with a Charles Fox 8146405 brush. Very regularly, however, because I hadn't done it in quite a while, it's left my chin area in particular, appearing slightly like a petrified sea urchin. So I do so indeed apologize if my chin area is looking quite sandpapery. And I'm just taking it through the eyebrows as they create a slight cast on the skin and then concealing any other unfortunate events. I hope you found this either interesting, useful, entertaining or helpful or beneficial in some way. But once again, thank you so much for watching and of course, take care of yourself. Bye bye.